All right, time now for the Roadie Roundup. We talk about some of the hot topics that people are talking about all week long. With us today, joining us virtually, John Rook, the voice of your New England Patriots, Barbie Joe Di Maria from 92 Pro FM, and the half of Heather and Steve in the morning from Light Rock 105. And just let's point this out right now before somebody starts typing a message. You're not driving. You're just no. sitting in your car. Here's what happened. I had a vicious fight with my girlfriend about two weeks ago, and I've been living in my car ever since. Oh, I <laughs> side, I side with Alyssa. I side with your girlfriend. <laughs> See? You know what I mean? Well, all right, let's, let's get started because, and, and John, I'm going to start with you on this one. Um, we're going to talk uh, Patriots and football. I mean, with everything that has been going on, um, all of a sudden, you know, news has come out that, that some of the guys on the team have become, you know, become sick with with COVID um it's a weird scene I mean how is it for you and and how do you think the team is going to survive I mean some people are calling for like almost just everybody put things on hold for a while you know I've gone back and forth on this Will to be quite honest with you and I'm not one of those that wants to pause life we got to figure out a way to kind of push through but be that as it may I, I would tell you that um I, I'm concerned like everybody else first of all it's really weird calling games with nobody in the stadium. Right. It's, it's spooky weird, actually. I, I gotta admit, I mean, who the hell am I broadcasting to, right? You know, so uh, about 70 members of the media and, and they all want me to shut up. So, um, you know, I, the, the players that have, have uh, tested positive this week seem at least at this stage of the game to have been random. So hopefully there isn't an outbreak that's getting ready to happen. I would suggest that if, if an outbreak were to occur, if one or two or, you know, a couple more guys were able to or were to test positive, that they probably should at least postpone the game for the weekend, to be honest sure. with you, before we know more. But unless, you know, if these truly are, you know, isolated incidents, I, I think we should try to push on. That's just my right. thought. Um, Barbie and Steve, I know you guys are big Patriots fans. Barbie, what is it like watching the game and when the camera pulls back, there isn't anybody there except John's um, voice. <laughs> yeah, well, thank goodness for John's voice, you know. Uh, no, it's, it's awkward for me. You know, I'm going to speak on behalf of all, all the ladies and the, and the gentlemen out there. Um, you know, if we didn't have football, I would probably be really upset because I just really like watching some hunky athletes do their thing. So, <laughs> well, you've come keep to the right football place. going because Barbie Joe is a happy girl. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Steve? You know, I'm a humongous, humongous Patriots fan. I was Steve Brogan three years in a row for Halloween. There is absolutely no way this season uh, finishes in its completion. I would love to see it happen, but this is – and there's a billion dollars or more at stake, but there's no way that you have that many people with uh, – you know, Ken Newton, if he's healthy, he's touching the center's butt 50 times a game, maybe 75 times <laughs> There's no way we can keep everybody from getting COVID. There's no way. Yeah, but I until know. we do, I, I love it. Yeah. All right, next up, Amazon Prime Day happens next week, October 13th and 14th. Are you someone who will jump online and, and look for deals on Amazon Prime? Steve, what about you? No. I'm a huge small business guy. Um, I'm holding out hope that, uh, that Amazon won't take over the world within our lifetimes, but I don't think that'll happen. <laughs> The deals are too good, but I'm a mother pop guy. Call me crazy. Yeah. Yep. Barbie? I wish I could lie and say, you know, I didn't shop Amazon, but if you look at my closet, it's full of stuff that I probably don't need in life. Uh, so, yeah, I'm definitely one of those people. I'm a shopaholic. My name is Barbie. I like yeah. to shop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what about you, John? I, I got to admit, I, 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 listen. How long, how long, much longer till Christmas? I'm almost done with my shopping already. Wow. Oh, we hate John. We hate him. Thank Impressive. You. Thank you. I love to be hated, by the way. But, I, <laughs> but you know, hey, as long as you're listening, brother, that's all I care about, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I've got most of it done, Will. Uh, you know, wow. on, Am God on Prime you. Day, eh, I don't know. Right, right. God bless you. All right. Next up, there was a, a new study, speaking of Barbie, about toys and saying that kids who play with different toys and specifically dolls and different things like that have more empathy towards the world. Barbie, I am going to start with you. What was your favorite toy and do you think it changed the way you look at the world? 
Wow, could this play out any more perfect? I mean, when your name is Barbie, obviously your favorite toy in life would be the Barbie doll. Um, right, right. Yeah, I mean, I played with, <laughs> with Barbies. I was excited there was a doll that had my name, clearly. <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm pretty empathetic. I think I'm, I get pretty emotional and I definitely have feelings towards like, you know, oh goodness, I'm like, this, this is he weighs heavy on my heart and it breaks my heart. I think, you know, maybe, you know, playing out scenes with dolls, although Ken is just an accessory. That's All right, right. Ladies, That's he right. is just an accessory. Know that. And then, and then we just have a couple of seconds left. Steve, what was your favorite toy? Uh, I like Star Wars action figures, <laughs> and uh, I'm, I'm very, very empathetic towards Wookiees as a result. <laughs> and John, you? <laughs> G.I. Joe, brother. G.I. Yes. Joe. Oh, okay. Boy. Attaboy. Well, folks, thanks so much for joining us virtually. It'll be glad to, uh, good to have you guys back when we can in studio. We appreciate it. And thanks to our Roadie Roundup panel for today.